hey guys welcome back to another follow-up video of infinity x from for redmi note 8 and recently we are not getting any kind of new custom rom for this device and i have been using this build few days now it is working well the ui and the performance is pretty much similar to the older build so i did not able to find anything new here but anyway as we always do about phone and android version so as you can see here redmi note 8 jinko the version we are using here is b3.3 official other specs of the device the security patch level is october 1st 2025 and if you are using redmi note 7 i am trying the same rom on that device too and i will definitely review that rom too and the ui as you can see are pretty much similar control panel is also pretty much similar nothing new there for customization we do get infinity suite which is much more modern now actually they have reduced many features and they kept the usable features only now so monet color and everything a bible and the ui is pretty snappy right now in the older builds i found out that the ui is not really that good like sometimes it takes time but here it's pretty much fast and fluent working well so you do get all the features as you can see here and AOD is also available if you want AOD and few other things in the miscellaneous section still we do get spoofing option and like down guard option storage encryption and obviously the spoofing option we do get higher FPS in game unlimited google for the storage and few other things in terms of network connectivity no issue at all everything seems to be working perfectly fine like bo lt and bo wi-fi hotspot and everything working well i haven't faced any issue regarding those things display option adaptive brightness is working no issue at all double tap to work double tap to sleep all these things are working as you can see here pretty snappy now actually wallpaper and style change wallpaper and we do get few option here like live wallpaper option as you can see here this one is new and default infinity x wallpaper is available and the clock face and everything available here the more lock screen setting we do get few other options like always on display and few things in the app section still we do get app lock assistant clone apps and everything so fully feature pack rom actually notification is pretty much same sound and vibration working well no issue at all and dolby atmos option is available part of volume control is also available modes option is there in terms of battery backup i haven't faced any issue regarding battery backup battery backup is quite good no drain issue or anything like that and in the battery information option we do get all the information here and they have removed like the battery health option which is not really reliable but you can rely on this thing and that's all what you are getting obviously you do get charging control as you can see here like you can schedule you can limit storage by default android 16 based rom will take 15 gb of storage location is working perfectly fine in terms of security and privacy we do get both face and fingerprint unlock and no issue at all fast and fluent and as android 16 based rom we do get private space and there is another option advanced protection this one is new i haven't seen this one before and in the mode security and privacy option we do get app content extended unlock theft protection sim lock and all other things in the system option we do get xiaomi parts as you can see here, Misa on enhancer, display calibration option, and also vibration strength. And that's all what you are getting, nothing much here. And in terms of application, this is a GS build. We do get few applications here. And I I have found that there are a lot of like bloatware right now, like Fitbit, Notebook, Watch. I don't know why they included all this Google application with in the GS build, but as you can see here, a lot now. Anyway, there is vanilla option available. You can flash the vanilla and can flash GF score if you don't like this all application. But you can actually uninstall them. 
but I don't really know why they like pre-installed these Google applications. So Google Photos Unlimited Storage is available as I said. So if I show you unlimited storage. Unfortunately, Magic Editor is not working. So if I try now, edit and circle. So crash the app. So it's still not working. And in terms of camera, we do get MIUI camera with Infinity X ROM. Although you can still take picture and 48 megapixel is working, but video recording is not working with MIUI camera. As you can see here, like it's stuck. But if you use Gcam, Gcam is perfectly working. So as you can see here, you can take picture and video recording. So it's working. So you can use Gcam instead of using MIUI camera. And other features like in terms of phone call, as I said, Google TV Wi-Fi working. Even you can do call recording and also video call is working. So everything seems to be working perfectly fine there. One thing which is kind of really good about Infinity X ROM is that you are getting safety net feature. So you can use bank application, payment application on this ROM, but still I don't really recommend using any kind of payment application on a custom ROM. It's up to you if you want to use, but I don't really recommend. So as you can see here, available and ChatGPT is also working. So no issue at all. Overall, there is nothing new actually. The ROM is pretty fine. It's working well. Even in terms of gaming also, I haven't faced any issue. As I always do game testing on this device, the gaming performance is quite similar. No issue at all. You can still get pretty smooth gameplay on this device. Obviously, you have to put it in lower frame rate and uh, lower graphics setting. But it's still working, no issue at all. Overall, the ROM is still one of the solid option if you are looking for a best custom ROM for your Redmi Note 8. There is no alternative of this ROM for this device. So if you want latest and greatest, you can go with this ROM. Or if you want like smoother performance and better UI optimization, you can go with something like Android 13 or 14 based ROM. So those will work perfectly fine. But you might not get safety net feature with those ROM. And that's all about Infinity X 3.3. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.